Hello friends, welcomes you in our YouTube channel Interview Bunt and thank you for joining Interview Bunt. So in this video, I am going to talk about or this series, in this video series, I am going to talk about how to create a POS applications. Okay, so first we need to understand what is POS. POS is nothing but point of sales. So it is used for the retail management. So a POS the definition of POS is nothing but a point of sale system is combination of software and hardware that allows users or we can say that allows a merchant to take transactions and simplify key day-to-day -day business operations. Okay. So suppose if you are going to the shopping and uh, suppose Big Bazaar, DMART, Reliance Fresh or anywhere. So they guys are using the POS application for the management. Okay. So in this series, I am going to talk about how to create complete POS applications. Okay. So first we need to understand what is the POS application. So this POS applications I am going to choose in the Windows application. So that is the Windows application I am going to create. Okay. So what is the prerequisite to create the Windows applications or POS applications? So in this complete series, I am going to use a language that is called csap.net and I need a database. So I am going to use database SQL Server and we need some tools. So for that, I am going to use Visual Studio 2015 and SQL Server Management Studio 2014. So these tools I am going to use and csap.net language and the database is SQL Server. So you must know all these languages csap and SQL servers. So don't worry basic things I will tell you but you should know. So I, I will give the application name as Gautam Pause. Okay. So in this video I am going to talk about the database is checked structure so how i am going to create the database for that many pos applications and i will also tell you primary key and foreign key relationship in that database so i will create this database for that pos application so first we need a user table so i will create these fields id password sorry id first name last name username password mobile number email or is activate so these are the field for the user i need a customer so customer table so in that customer table i will create these fields so in the every table i will create one primary key that is id so here you can see user table i have a primary key id and customer table i have a primary key id straight table i have a sid is primary key city table i have a cid as a primary key so these are the department table, category table, so item table, invoice table, detailed invoice table, and tax table. So one more table I will going to create. So that is for the uh, how much money we are collecting today. So for that purpose, so collect total collection purpose, I need to create one table. So I will tell you in the next video so that I will also create that complete tables in the next video. So now in the next slide I am going to talk about how we will give that relationship this. So this this is the primary key the user. So this is the customer tables. The customer table having ID primary key. So this customer ID I will use in the invoice in the cust ID as a foreign key. So suppose this is the straight table SID I will use this as state ID and foreign key. So this is the relationship state and city table. So this department. So in this department how many categories are there. So I am going to create the table. So so this DID will be the foreign key for department ID in the category table. So in the invoice table I have an invoice table and detailed invoice table. So this invoice table I am going to use invoice ID as a foreign key and this is the customer 
customer ID. I already told you about this invoice. So this is the item table and this is the tax table. So item table is having one field tax ID. So this ID I will going to create. So how much percentage of the tax I am going to take uh, from the customer and how much sales tax GST or CST. Okay, so one more table I will create for the transaction purpose. How much collection and how much transaction did by one customer and done by another customer. So for maintaining that, I will create that table also. So in the next video, I am going to create this complete table and database table database and one application. So I will create start start from the next video. So this is the uh, some overview how I am going to create the table. Okay. So thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe our YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed. Do like and don't forget to share with your friends. So this application will help you to grow your knowledge and you will get benefit from that video. So don't worry guys. Keep watching and this we this series all will definitely help you much more. So thank you and Good luck.